Welcome back to the Garden Tomb here in Jerusalem. Anna and I recently returned from going into Jerusalem, which was like an oven. Uh, it's very hot here in August in Jerusalem. And then you come through the gates of the Garden Tomb from the dusty streets of Jerusalem, and you enter this oasis of shade and beauty and abundant plant life. And Stephen Bridge has been recently sharing about the abundant life of the different plants in the garden. As a team, we've been reading our way through John's Gospel in our morning devotions. And John 10 stood out to me where Jesus says, I have come that you might have life and have it to the full, this abundant life. So what is this abundant life that Jesus speaks of? For me, it is a life of security. The Good Shepherd, we read, calls his sheep by name. He leads them out. He goes ahead of them and they follow because they know his voice. This picture reminds me of a guide meeting a group at the gate and leading them into the garden to give a tour. As they move off, the guide gets to know the group a little. Where have you come from, friends? And the group gets to know the guide. As the guide, he or she shares their testimony of all that Christ means to them. But to be known is to be loved, and to be loved is to be known. And so known and loved as followers of Jesus means we can move through this dangerous and delightful world, sure-footed and secure. Secondly, abundant life is a life of hospitality. Jesus says, I have other sheep that are not of the sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The garden is known for its welcome and hospitality and also for having the cleanest loos in Jerusalem. We welcome all who come to the garden, people of faith, of other faiths, and people who have no faith, because we know the sheep pen is not in an enclosed place. It is open to continual expansion. And as a mission community here in the garden, we want to share this abundant life with all who come. And thirdly, abundant life is a life of freedom. Jesus says, whoever comes to him will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. Abundant life sets us free. It keeps us on the move, discovering new experiences, new challenges and new avenues of service, as I discovered in coming here to the garden. And as we've been doing as a team, as we've shared our stories of what each other have learned from other fields, as it were, learning also new tasks to enable us to keep this abundant garden open. And this fills us with hope as we share the life of Christ within us and the freedom that he has brought to us. Finally, the writer of the Hebrews describes Jesus not as the good shepherd, but as the great shepherd of the sheep, and that we will be well equipped to live well as his followers. It's focusing towards the end of the book on urging believers in Christ to keep on going, to persevere, to never give up, even though the times are hard. We are to keep listening to the shepherd, keep following him. So this speaks to me that abundant life is a life of visionary purpose, which will keep us going, keep us following in these uncertain days that we are all living in. The garden is a beacon of the abundant life that can only be found in Jesus Christ. And all of us here pray that you may have that purpose, that motivation to offer that abundant life to all that you meet as we do here. In Jesus' name, amen.